everyone welcome back to another video i hope everyone's doing well today and that your weather is nice where you are and yes that was max squeaking sean calls him squeak because all he does is squeaks he's like a little squeaky toy aren't you you gonna let me do a haul as soon as i start talking he thinks i'm on the phone with someone hey all right you can sit here if you're good all right, so grab yourself a drink, get comfortable. This is gonna be a long Dollarama haul. I actually just made myself a tea. So today's tea is, what did I make? Lemon ginger. Nope, 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 peach ginger. Cheers. Mmm, yep, peach ginger. All right, so I had fun shopping at Dollarama. Let's get right into it. So I brought in a shopping bag and I had to also get another one. I had to pay $8. Look at this for that one. All right. Oh, before we do get into it, I wanted to show you is remember that little green? Well, this is Timu as well. This one, it could have been a, a size smaller, but that's okay. Um, this one that I bought and I was wearing it the other day. So, you know, I love this little top. It's pretty, but I took it off, washed it, and this is what I found. It actually ripped. Can you see that? It ripped on the seam in the back. So I messaged them about it, and uh, they offered me a full refund right away, and they told me to keep it or donate it. Um, they don't want it back. So that was my first experience with uh, a return and all went well so there you have it yes all right dollarama so i had mentioned um in a previous video that i wanted some standalone uh towel holders and you guys told me they had them at uh, dollarama so i was happy that i was able to find them now i don't know if they came in other colors this one has a white base with the metal but it will hold my towels and it actually goes up and down. So this is nice. So I grabbed two of them for oh, my main bathroom downstairs and my other bathroom upstairs. So let me know if you've seen them in different colors. I'm okay with the silver though. $5 each. Yep. All right, Max, you're not going to make this easy, is he? Oh boy, oh boy, we're stretching. All right. So I grabbed another Resolve. I don't know if I have, oh, I do have my receipts here. Let's, let's see prices. If I can go down my list fast. Uh, Resolve, this is excellent for uh, spraying on stains before, you know, the laundry goes into the laundry. You can spray it and leave it in the laundry basket. Um, so $3.50 for the Resolve, uh, it just, it uh, removes grass and greasy, greasy foods. It works well. Oops. And then I bought an air freshener, the Glade, 100% um, natural propellant air freshener in clean, li 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 <laughs> clean linen. I like that scent. I don't think this was very much either. $3.50 actually to buy the Glade. They do have a, a no-name kind of brand, cheaper, but we went with that. So summer is upon us and uh, I'm going to need lots of citronella because the mosquitoes love my blood. They love Irish blood, let me tell you. So these little candles, look at how lovely this container is. It's a little tin container, so it's quite a lot of candle in there, right? About this much. Citronella, and they were $3 each. So I picked these two. You knew I was going to pick this one. Flamingos. So this one's got flamingos on it. Yeah, and they'll look cute together. So $3.50 for them, and they're strong. You can smell that citronella. Put those over there. And then I saw this cute little mat. 
It's in the shape of a fish, is it? Is that a fish? Yeah. So I got this for Onyx just to sit under her food. It's got nice little uh, grips on the back of it too. Yeah, so this, uh, they're calling this scratchy mat for $4.25, but I'm just going to sit her food and water dish on it in the kitchen there. Make her feel special. So that was for Onyx. These were new to me. I don't know if anybody's hauled them or you've seen them before, but these little bamboo trays. Now there was two sizes. There was another one a little bit smaller than this and it actually fit right inside this one. Uh, I like these. I grabbed two of them. I'm going to probably use them in the bathroom or somewhere. They're going to be great for just, you know, making a little display. So three seventy-five dollars each. Yeah, I like those. So we got two of those. I'm just throwing everything on the floor. What else did we get? But I still have my sunglasses on. <laughs> Who else does that? You go looking for your glasses and they're on the top of your head. I grabbed this frame. I hope it works. I bought it for um, the flamingo print that I got from uh, Timu. So I actually like this because it's all glass. This was $4.75. So I will uh, see if it fits in. And if it does, I'll take a picture off it. They had this in white, black, and probably like a brown natural look frame. But I went with the white. Uh, my craft room is white downstairs. And I'm working on uh, doing my background because it's not done yet. And that's why I don't sit down there yet. I want to get my stuff up on the wall. Mm -hmm. So I have a friend, uh, well, Sean and I have a friend in uh, Ontario, and he loves to do the diamond painting, and he keeps telling me I should try it. And I says, no, it looks too hard for me. I'd need a magnifying glass. But anyway, um, Dollarama had one. It says 8 plus diamond painting, and I'm looking at it, and uh, I, can, I think I can handle that. All you're doing is the bird. Make your own diamond painting on canvas. So on canvas. Contains the rhinestones, pen for rhinestones, sorting tray, silicone wax canvas with pattern, glue, layer, and instructions. So Caroline's going to give this a, a try. I, there was a bird. There was um, a mosaic. Uh, what was that other animal I saw? A tiger. I think that was it. But let me just open this up just to show you what it is. I didn't bring any scissors and I don't like using my teeth. There we go. Because the ones that he's been doing, like he sends me pictures all the time of his progress. And, uh, oh, that's sticky. Okay, I'm not going to take it out, actually. So this is right on a canvas and this is sticky. Yeah. So we'll wrap it back up so I don't get any uh, dog hairs or cat hairs on it. But we will try that out. That'll be a beginner one for me if I like it or not. And I saw this letter size cardstock. There's 30 sheets. And I like the colors that were in it. It was $3. Did I tell you how much this was? I get rambling and then I forget. Yeah, $4 I told you. So, ooh, I'm putting stuff again. So there is um, a dark green, forest green. There's an orange. There's a really nice deep red, a yellow, a brown, and a blue. So I'm thinking fall colors. I don't know if you can see them. Now my Cricut machine does cut out cardstock if I want to make. Um, embellishments if I want to make a card it will cut everything out so there's your colors that's the green oh wait why aren't we moving here five colors all right so there's the dark green the orange I'm liking this red like a wine color that's a pretty yellow our brown and then the nice uh, navy blue. So yeah, that'll be fun to use. And that paper was 
$3 for 30 sheets. That's a good deal. Excuse me. I got to reach down again. Whew, get with the program here. Caroline, get organized. <laughs> then I saw this uh, designer paper and it's $1.25 for 25 sheets. Again, you can take, you know, this pattern paper and glue it onto a piece of cardstock. So I went with these shades. Very pretty. It's not opened yet, but there's like an old uh, wagon there and just pretty blue roses and nice uh, vintage look to this one. And then I grabbed this one and it's uh, reds. Again, I love the roses and stuff and the greens and the reds in this one. So yeah, you get 24 sheets for $1.25. That's pretty good. What size are they? They're like uh, six by six little squares. So those will go down to my craft room. All right, now we're getting into my big shopping bag. I'm not even gonna lift it, it's heavy. I grabbed this on the way out. Uh, I love this pure leaf tea, but this one is new. It's blackberry. It was delicious, really good and tasty. Uh, two twenty-five, I think they charged me for that. I finally saw a lavender. Now I tried to grow one of these last year, and uh, it didn't take for some reason. But I'm trying it again this year because I love lavender. So it's just one of those grow kits for four dollars. And when you are buying them. Don't be afraid to slide it out a bit to make sure that your seeds are in there and they say what it is in your little bit of peat moss. So it says true lavender, so we know we got lavender. I've seen some people say uh, they got something different growing, but obviously uh, the wrong seeds were in the wrong packaging. All right, so we're gonna grow some lavender. I grabbed a strawberry jello. Now, how much are they charging for Jello? Hmm, can't be that much for a thing of Jello. Jello, eighty-seven cents. Yeah, eighty-seven for that, and eighty-seven for my dairy milk, milk chocolate. Gotta have a chocolate bar. I was gonna have it on the way home, but then uh, I couldn't find it in the bag. Oh, here's some more little paper pads. Yeah, they had a, a lot of uh, nice papers today, or ye yesterday when I went shopping. These ones are um, kind of a nautical theme, pinks and, I don't see any flamingos, but there's uh, pinks and black and green and little anchors. Yeah, this one's nice. These are excellent. If you see them and you're a crafter, even for, um, People that do, uh, what do you call that? Scrapbooking? Yeah. Or junk journal. That's what I'm thinking about. Junk journal. Yes. And this one, I think is my favorite. Look at this one. You get the little butter, is that the butterflies there? Yeah, butterflies. And these are beautiful. Beautiful. So I got those. Then I had these little ones. And these sheets are um, little pattern blocks, 10, four by four. So just two inches smaller than those. Let me show you the difference. Oh my goodness. See the difference in size? Yeah. And this was $1.50, but you are getting 100 sheets. And this one, look at the palm trees and stuff on this one. So I thought this one was nice too. Look, that's owls. There's some nice paper in there, and Caroline can't fan through things. A little bit of gray in there, too. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, so you can do many things with these. There's just a brown background if you need it brown. More leaves. So, yeah, I got this one. And I got uh, this one. And I grabbed this because I love these. These are my colors. Yeah, $1.50. So if you see these, grab them too. And it's nice that you do get, like, look at how vintage this looks. This one's vintage. Let me see if I can sit over this way. Oh, 
I don't do very good at this, do I? No, no, no. My hands are not coordinated very well anymore. <laughs> Pink. That one's pretty. Neutral color. Oh, that one's pretty too. Yeah, lots of cute little pages in here. And that one's very vintage lacy looking. All right, so I did get those. And I also got in the crafting department. These were cute uh, just the way they were on the hangers. <coughs> Excuse me, let me take a drink. I'm choking on my words. So this is a 40 piece craft stickers for $1.25. So I grabbed these poppies so we can craft with those for Remembrance Day. I got red roses. Now they're clear back if you can see that. So when you stick them on something, all you're gonna see is the, the flower. Red roses. This one's full of colorful butterflies. I went with the colorful ones. There was one that was just strictly blue butterflies or all green, but I like the multicolor. And, oh, I went with the pink, the all pink butterflies. Love these too, the daisies. Look at all the daisies in there. Oh, and I went with these ones too. I thought these were kind of cool looking, more about burnt orange uh, butterfly mix. For $1.25, these are excellent, 40 stickers. And this one has a lot of um, purples, like you've got your lilacs and you've got your, uh, what do you call those thistle things? So that was how many of those I bought. Then I saw these. So I have to just stock up. These are wooden shape with vine. There's two pieces in it. But look at this, you could like, you could put a saying in here, you could make coasters out of it. I love that. So there's two that shape, and then I bought the two in the round shape. And these were $1.50 each. They have little holes in the back too. If you were going to make something, just put some jute twine through it and hang it up if you want. So yeah, we got lots of stuff for crafting with. I bought these, um, they were in the cosmetic uh, area. It says Lori, cosmetic organizer. They're Lazy Susans. But the reason I bought them was um, I might sit this in the drawer for the spices so Sean can just spin around, see what he's got. Or my other thought was in the fridge, in the back of the fridge, and put... Um, you know, like I like my beets and he likes his pickles and maybe just have those sitting on it to spin around. So I grabbed two of them. Because they, they will fit either, like either way in my cupboard or in my fridge. So we grabbed two of those at four, $4.50 each. Yeah. And then I saw these towel sets. These are really nice. Um, they're white, four piece, uh, 100, so it says zero twist, 100% cotton, four pack bathroom set. You get two hand towels and two washcloths. There is a price on it from wherever it was before Dollarama at $9.97. Dollarama was selling them for, uh, five dollars each you could put these away if you're going to make up a, a nice christmas gift basket so i grabbed two of them i'm gonna put one up in the guest bathroom and uh yeah nice fresh towels up there so this was a good deal i am loving the stuff that dollarama is bringing in i think i can lift my bag up now <clears throat> Oh, I grabbed more of these uh, little um, craft bags. They're paper treat bags, 20 piece. But this is what I put my seeds in for planting. So I needed more. We were running out. So I grabbed another one, $2. You can use these for anything. It's saying fill with special treats and give us party favors. 
easy and fun to decorate. So you get 30 in there and it shows on the back. Oh, sorry, 20. You get 20 for $2. Yeah. I saw this in the gardening area and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I probably need that. It's a weeder. It was $3.50. I like the handle it's got. And then just this little, and it is kind of bent if you can see that. So I'll be able to pop the weeds out instead of using my fingers. So I grabbed that. That's going to come in handy in the garden. And we needed more poop sacks because we got a lot of animals pooping around here. <laughs> so I bought two of these actually, 160 in it. <clears throat> and uh, how much? I have a little sign that says no pooping, but they still do it. Obviously, they can't read. I think these are $3. I'm pretty sure they are. Because they sell another box that I used to buy, but there wasn't enough in those. And these are a good size. Probably jumping out right at me here. Poopy sacks, $3, yeah. So $3, I grabbed two because I like to have one um, by the front door and I'm keeping one by Onyx's litter box. So we can scoop that out. So there's the other one. Uh, Food-wise, I bought some things. I bought some cake mixes, just a white cake mix. They actually had, um, a rainbow one, I think they called it, or the confetti one. But I went with white and I went with um, devil's food in the chocolate. And all you need to make these is one and a quarter cups of water or milk. I always use milk. One third of vegetable oil and three eggs. Three egg whites or three whole eggs. So depending on your preference. Now the cake mixes, I don't think there are a lot of money in there. I think they're more at the grocery store. I tend to just grab them when I'm in there. Super moist, I don't know if that's them, $1.75. I'm assuming that is. Yeah, super moist. Yeah, $1.75 for these, and I know there are a lot more at the grocery store because I was looking at them when I was in the grocery store. Oh, I bought these. I think these were three for a dollar. You know, the ramen noodles. I actually just like the noodles. I don't use the powder. Or if I do just... I have, I have weird cravings at times. Like yesterday. Why I wanted ravioli, I have no idea. And then I saw these and I wanted ramen noodles. I don't know why. <laughs> I bought two vegetables. And I bought a beef. They didn't have any chicken. But the thing is, if you don't use all the powder package, you're not consuming as much um, sodium because there is 64% sodium in these. Yes. Anyways, I've actually sometimes just added the noodles to a soup that I'm making, like, a, you know, a canned soup and it's just, plain soup and I want a bit of noodle in it. I've done that too. So that is those. I know Sean doesn't eat them. And then you gotta look after the birds. So I'm always buying my suet there. So I've got two of those and two of these and I don't think there's a difference in them. I think it's just the pictures of the birds. Let's have a look and see. I just grabbed them but they both say four season and they both have all the same ingredients. Yes, beef fat. Yes, yeah, it's all the same stuff. Now, how much? I think these have gone up in price now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I was so I went through a cashier because the store didn't have self checkout, which I wouldn't, I don't like doing anyway if I'm buying so much stuff. 
But as I was putting it up, she was ringing it in faster than I could put it up. And then she's telling me to pack my bag. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? I tell you. And then she stacks it all there, cashes it out. And I says to her, um, I, I asked for another bag for, you know, the, the frames and stuff. I think she was having a bad day. I don't know. Where? Oh, where is it? Bird food. Oh, $1.50. I think that's what we have been paying for them, isn't it? So, yeah. Six bucks. And because mine's a double uh, feeder. And the birds have found Caroline's feeders. They sure have. I was just looking out. Where are they? They're just over there. Because um, the kitchen's right there. And uh, I can hear them out there as well. And I was happy to find this. I saw Missy on uh, All Things Missy. She hauled this. And I was like, oh, I got to find one of those. Because I love the tin and all it came in. And I was lucky that they had some. So this is a four-pack facial uh, masks. That's what the box looks like. And uh, you get an exfoliating face-off. A hydrating Buddha face. But, butta face? But, butta. You get a calming resting bee face and a brightening show face. So I hope that none of them are peel-offs because I don't like to use peel-offs. This would be an excellent Mother's Day gift. It would. Uh, I believe it was $5. Let me find it quick for you. Like I said, it's this is a mess because I was putting stuff up of how I wanted to put it in the bag first. Uh, multi face masks, yeah, five dollars. So, like I said, you've probably seen them being hauled, or this top's a little big, or you've seen them um, on the Facebook uh, Dollarama pages. I part of those too everybody likes to know what's coming out new especially the people that live right beside one and they're able to go all the time so this is what a it looks like so it says one off it's metal really nice little latch there you open it up I mean this is a beautiful little gift it's got a little card in it tells you uh yeah tells you about them all how to apply Look at how beautiful that is. Presentation is everything here. They're a good size too. Look at that. Does it tell us? 20 mil. And that's not all. You get a brush. You get a, an applicator brush. Very nice. Yeah. So I don't know if it says... Exfoliating. This whipped clay mask. Clay masks are really good for you. That's that one. The Buddha face super hydrating mask. Uh, avocado oil, shea butter, aloe, coconut. Oh yeah, it's got all good stuff in it. I'll serve up to. It doesn't say. Calming mask will make you stop and smell the roses. Got rose hip oil and green tea nourishment. Keep calm and mask on. I like that. Uh, the show face brightening mask. It's it's like liquid gold. I think that that one is probably a peel off. It's got vitamin C, turmeric extract, hydro, hyaluronic, lauralic, you know how to say it, acid, and pineapple. Ceramid, boost your skin's radiance while smoothing, softening, and exfoliating. If it's an exfoliating, then it's not a peel off. Okay, how to use, and this is basically for all four of them. Apply to clean skin, smile casually in the mirror, and gently rinse off face after 15 minutes. Gasp in disbelief at how soft your skin is and tell your friends about it. I'm telling my friends about it before I even try it out. If I like them, I will go back and buy another one. 
or you know what, Mother's Day, or put it away for Christmas. A lot of people have already started putting stuff away for Christmas. Yes, love that. And that is it. That is the end of my Dollarama haul. I hope my lighting is good here because it's so hard to find somewhere where um, I don't have <laughs> the sunlight reflecting off of my glasses in this house. It's a really nice bright house. Uh, once I get my background done down in my craft room, I'll be able to sit down there in the afternoon because the sun comes across the front. So out back is in shade right now where my room is. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what's on your wish list from Dollarama. And also, uh, if you think your friends or family would enjoy my videos, please share them with them and uh, help me get up there to that 1,000 subscribers by June 24. Yes. All right. So take care and I'll catch us all on my next video. Bye for now. Have a good one.